Oh everyone, check it out. Now it's like smoke everywhere. The wind picked up too much. Look at the trees. You see that? So now it's brought all the smoke down. <coughs> it's like a bit intoxicating. Don't think I'm going to be able to work today because um, I can't be outside and I also can't go into the headquarters because the smoke's also in there, you know. It's really like strong. I mean, just from being outside here, uh, I go inside and I'm already like smelling like smoke like I'm doing a barbecue. So, full of debris on the floor, burnt leaves, burnt pieces of wood. It's crazy. It's very strong the wind you know picked up too much so yeah so no projects today and uh, one fire brigade died unfortunately not on the fire I think it was like a heart attack and um, houses are in risk people's lives you know can't even imagine like even the animals, nature, it must be all like a bit burnt up here. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait and see how it goes. Because the roads are all closed, they had to close all the roads. So even if I want to go somewhere, it's gonna be complicated today. And I don't really want to like leave the house because the wind is coming all towards this side. And we have a lot of forest. A lot. So yeah, we just gotta chill here and wait for this to pass out. God's good grace as well. All these like bits of ashes laying around, look at this. Burnt leaves. And this is quite far, eh? Look at this burnt leaf. Look how far the burnt leaves and pieces of wood go, it's crazy. Get that. See? Now if it comes down cold, it's not a problem. The problem is that when it comes like still like a bit burning, then it just like creates fires everywhere, you know. It's crazy. It's just like spreading. So fast. Now the burnt leaves. So that's why I've got to keep an eye here at home. Got to make sure. I don't have a lot of trees around the house. But the neighbors do have a lot of trees. We have is a lot of like high grass, you know. So that's quite easy to like fight off. With the host pipe. But the problem is the neighbors and the whole forest around us. It's not safe at all. Eh? So... Not much I can do today. I'm going to go and order the pulse that I need for the other projects. And, um, yes, get things going, whatever I can do inside. Because I'm sure this will pulse more. Because now you see a lot of airplanes and everything. <coughs> it's not easy to be outside. I can you imagine the firefighters show? Can you imagine all that smoke and everything? How do they do it? Eh? It's not easy. Look at this, everyone. This is like a significant like piece of tree skin, you know? It's been burned, so imagine this. It's not light. It's not very light. While it's still burning, this just creates fires like easy. And this came from far away, so you don't have the fires next to us. Well, look at this blue sky and all that. That's not clouds, eh? That is smoke. There goes fire brigade. They've been passing like all day long here. So, blue sky, smoke. You're going to have to go inside because you can't even see the sun anymore. 
there's the sun which just now you can still see it now you can't even see it so all this thick smoke now is coming to the front leaves falling down all that is smoke it is so extensive that they're getting help now from other countries it's crazy can't see anything wow okay now i can't even see the sun anymore get all the smoke everyone yep so the color of that sun everyone if i keep the camera still you can actually see all the ashes falling can you see that this was a bad fire crazy wow First Primantis of the year. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe it's still quite small. Somewhere. Yeah, almost because of the fires. Okay, I haven't had it in a long time. Now? How beautiful. Hello, the two Primantis. Just gonna leave the guy here. Okay, dog, everyone. So, um, this is a modern dry machine. Okay, closed dry machine from Samsung. Now, this is still in warranty, but um, of course, I'm not going to send it to warranty and make them simply just lube it up, you know. Um, why give Samsung that work if I could just do it myself? So, I'm just going to take this video, it will be also as a record. So, the only thing I did was take the top cover, okay, where the screws aren't painted with warranty, so they aren't like anti-tightening paint like you cannot take out um, and I took this plastic cover out okay this one right here sorry for the mess here but it was like improvising okay so I took this cover out so the top cover you just take one screw two screws and then you slide the top pot out okay um, and uh, very careful to not scratch the lid or anything and then this cover here plastic you take all these screws out there's also one here and there's one in the middle here you can't forget so it comes really easy out and then you just push up and it clips out of here okay these hangers so what I discovered is this has a washer and a clip okay and I'm going to clean them before I put them back um, what happens is that this isn't a, a bearing this is just the bronze it must be C2 or C3 um, and a shaft just goes right through okay um, so this is supporting and centering the tumbler okay so I don't know why they didn't use a bearing don't ask me why um, and the problem is that it was making a clunk noise like clunk clunk why because it was starting to get so dry that the shaft that goes through okay um, this steel pin that's attached to the tumbler was so dry that it was like starting to grip onto the bronze okay so we got a ride in the beginning just happened today of course you hear clunky noise you got to see what it is um, I thought it would be something worse. I still don't know why there isn't a bearing here. If they can explain, it would be nice. Um, because this will have wear and tear, believe me. So what I did is, I put um, copper spray, okay, that withstands 1000 a a degrees. This is very liquid, so it really gets into there. I put then some PTFE spray as well just to dilute it more and make sure it all goes inside okay um, and then I put heat resistant uh, copper paste you see okay because this has heat here 
so you can't use the normal grease or else it's all going to melt and then you're going to have issues that all the lube is going to evaporate so i reckon i'm going to have to do this now and then because this is not going to last if you don't lube the the shafts okay and the bronze bush it's going to wear and tear if you do not lube it so if you wait for warranty um, they're just going to take the machine lube this up and they're going to give it back to you um, or you look at this video and just do it yourself okay i'm still going to send it to samsung so that they know that i did this and that they won't that they will approve and there won't be a problem so one cover two covers lube and how do you lube in the inside all you do is you push this out so this doesn't have like a great support so what you do is you just go like that you see you push out and in the inside you can lube it up that's what i did so can you see in there so i lubed also inside there it's not easy okay to get your then you can just clean this all around like that it's not easy to put your finger but you can put a thin finger and just loop also the the shaft inside okay so and then we also put it on the outside and now we're going to put our clamp and our, our spring clamp and the washer back okay and now we know that this is proper lube but i can't leave this for long because we are going to have to lube this now and then just like we do on the fridge we do maintenance on the fridge of samsung cleaning in samsung fridge at the bottom you got to clean the um, the radiator get all that dust out and clean the fan now and then or else you're going to lose performance on your fridge and then it's going to pack up and now we have another maintenance to do is this uh, we really got to clean the filter clean everything the water make sure there's no water in this tank so that's what we already do and this is just something extra thank god it's not things too complicated okay so i already put the spring back okay the spring clip and the washer now i'm just going to put some extra um, grease over here okay and that's it so yes now you guys know what to do the fan is working well um the fan let me see if the fan has a no the fan i don't think it needs lubing right now but if it does i'm sure you just take this nut out and lube the fan do you think we have to lube up the fan no 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 okay so we'll just do this for now now we're going to put the cover back and uh, that's it guys so now you know what to do on your samsung modern um clothes dryer okay clothes dryer how do you say clothes clothes cool. clothes dryer <laughs> okay so after you put that you put this lid back on it's actually quite simple the assembly you put two screws here then you put the plastic lid okay so you put the plastic cover back <coughs> okay tighten all the screws don't tighten them too much because they aren't like m4 m5 threads metric threads or um they like um self-tightening screws so um just uh, as soon as the plastic goes against the metal you stop okay just be be sensitive <laughs> and uh, you slide this cover back in place and now test the machine okay now we're going to test it out so it was making a clonk like every time it goes around as you it was going clonk 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 which was the the tumbler okay the barrel was going f like getting stuck so to like boom you know get stuck on the on the bush uh, the shed was getting stuck on the bush and it would just do like a jump okay um so let's test it out now <clears throat> my throat is um but so there's still too much smoke outside uh, it's got worse during the night but friday rain will come we already got some airplanes coming let's see what happens with these fires okay and play so this is a model um 
I put the model in the description. Okay. No more clocks on. Fixed. So all it needed was some loop. Okay. So now you guys know. You gotta loop that up. Um, or else it's gonna be a problem. Believe me, guys. The Honda Prelude, that's all. What year is that? 2000 and. What? Not even 2000. 1989. Whoa. <laughs> it's a. Uh, like a wash. I just have to wash the sex of the caddy. It's quite dirty. You see, when I look at the accelerator, I'm hearing a rumble. I'm sure it's on the exhaust. So, as you guys can see, see everything is burned on the margins, on the banks, on the right hand left. So, like, since home, we have been driving. And uh, it's crazy how the wind just pushed all the burnt material from the mountains and just I mean, even low pieces of dry grass just burn like crazy. Even on the highway, it came all the way to the highway, as you can see on the right, and um, everything just started to burn, you see. So, when you see it on the news, you can't really see the damage, but this is like really big. I mean, you know, the area it's that it's went it's like from just like it's just kilometers and kilometers, you know. Yeah. The wind blew all the debris and it's just caught fire all the forest. I mean, you just drive by a car and you just see everything burnt. It's not like the, the, the whole thing, but it's patches you know See? and when it gets to the forest then it just becomes like huge crazy so they were able to protect the house most like it could have been much worse so the, the effort of the people with the fire brigade were able to like keep you know safe the the house some got burned but majority of the houses were safe and people as well although unfortunately seven people died I, yeah. yeah seven people died um it was what three how many fire brigades three and the no, rest four. four and the rest of people yeah yeah Somebody four firefighters and the rest were civilians
the smoke is so annoying for people to work and the breathing and the burning the eyes it's crazy so everyone just be careful for those who like to start fires I mean one day you will get to judgment day if it's not here one day you will okay so we to go buy the wheels for the machine little wheels uh, for the rotary table uh, not easy to get especially the size that a person needs but um, yes we got it uh, we actually got it at the Chinese shop because uh, where we normally get like in the big wheel factory that they really make it there they didn't have the size we need so we needed like uh, between 62 and 70 millimeters they only have 75 or 50 so we couldn't work with those measurements uh, I got ones with 69 so it's not the same quality you can see everything is burnt yeah. um, it's not the same quality but um, it's just gonna have to do you know because I can't raise up whatever I want there's still smoke coming out of there yeah. um, so yes at least advancing with the machine. I really actually quite gotten forward with it. The Citroen sack, so I had to take it to the mechanic because the exhaust was the support of the exhaust at in the bottom at the bottom part was cracked. So they had to weld it. They working on that. Um, I don't have the proper welding. Um, I have the TIG welding machine but I don't have the proper gas um, if I had like the wire for MIG welding I could also do it you know easy um, but I actually didn't break where there's a bend it breaks on the flat parts I'm still trying to understand why too much vibration heat but stainless steel it's just weird um, so they're going to have to reinforce the whole thing, probably. What else? So yes, that's going to get fixed. Uh, that was the noise that I was hearing yesterday. Um, and the rest, we're just going to keep on going, you know? Getting more content, new content. So yes, I'm going to show you guys a bit of the, the machine. I'm going to show you guys... Um, I'll show you the sex already. I was I forgot to film the the crack of the exhaust support on the mechanic. I could have filmed that. I forgot completely, unfortunately. So yes. Uh, then I'll try to get underneath the car and show you guys more or less where it is. Because I think I can zoom it with the camera. It's gonna be an exercise, but I'll try. <laughs> oh, you gotta you gotta battle. Now if you want to do YouTube more fiber guys, that must be like relaxing, yeah? You can see the smoke coming out, look. See, sun starts heating and uh, the oh, ground starts cat. heating up. Look, all that smoke there, look there. It's little yeah. dots, but those aren't bad because it's not like those are gonna kiss like really big cool. fire because it's really like all burned up, but it was quite a lot, eh? It but was it quite is. a lot. Yeah, you can see a lot of smoke all around because it's still these little fires look there's some black smoke so something just caught fire there let's see if we can not get stuck in traffic i'm sure it's nothing too bad it's just like this is all burnt but once the heat starts coming because during the night it's colder so they will start being like damn more humid weather you know the mist starts like in the air, cold air condensates and hits the ground that's hot and it starts to get wet, you know. But um, now, of course, the sun comes out, starts heating up again, dries everything up, and everything has a chance to catch, reignite, you know. So, right here, you see the smoke when we went on our way down, there wasn't this smoke, there's no smoke here, remember? No. And now you've seen this, so this was like. Right now, look, you see in the forest there? 
station we thought this was going to be in risk but um, they were able to protect it because you don't want um, petrol station taking fire then it's like a disaster you know but all these roundabouts all burnt eh yeah down there is really bad still if you go more to the south then it's still very bad this looks cleaner but down there it's very Last night it was very bad for them because the wind was very very strong. But all that, you see all that? I can't show it the camera because you, I can't hold the camera while I'm driving, it's illegal. Um, but you can see right down there, you see? Everything's burnt. You want to hold the camera and yeah, show? Yeah. Maybe it's easier. Let me just pull over to take the camera out of the supports. Okay, everyone so yes we got this all mounted up we got our yellow guards in place our lids new the new little wheels that we I said I bought the other day and we're going on the way on the highway and that's checking out the fires what else yep so it's practically all done now I have to put some new plates on top of this plate. Um, just some minor connections, pneumatic connections and everything else. But yes, another very old machine that has just became like a new one, but it's not new. <laughs> okay, so it's just missing a bit of some pieces and parts. That are just waiting to dry out because they were out to paint. So yes, let's go. And the saxo. So the problem with the saxo was the supports because they just um, they shaped the exhaust muffler a little bit better in place. Okay, so they adjusted it further down. Okay, that's cool. Pushed it more down. Yep. It's nice. Let's see what else we got here. So you see, now the exhaust looks better. Not too much to the left side, remember? Um, now it's more centered up, you see? So it looks much better now. Um, okay, they adjusted the, the little arms here. Because they had to weld that, I also asked them just to adjust it a bit. Because um, when you weld the exhaust and tubes, you know, it always 
moves a little bit. So it's a bit if you just do it all at once. Um, ah, and better springs, okay. So I can't really show you guys from here. I needed to get the car up. <laughs> so I am thinking of um, getting a exhaust, uh, sorry. I am thinking of like buying an elevator. First I can use it for lifting up some machines, okay, to um, do some maintenance on machines and everything. And for these projects on the car as well. Okay, yep, so there you go. Finally got there, okay, so they welded a reinforcement plate right there and a spring you see that spring at the back there oops sorry it's not easy for me to get this see a spring with the nuts right there you see so like that it can take out any vibration I think it was vibrating too much, so it should end up always breaking. But they would have thicker plates. So yes, um, for me to do this without an elevator lifting the car, it's very hard. Okay, everyone, so that's about it. Um, I gotta start like designing the plates for the stairs on the trunk of the Raptor, uh, and show you guys how I'm gonna install it and everything else. So it'll look very cool. And um, yes, we're already starting on the next video. So with all this, God bless you all. Have a beautiful rest of a week. But I'll see you before that. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And uh, see you all on the next one. Out.